Okay, how are you guys doing? Um, yeah. So I have a little bit of an investment, $500. I'm wondering how am I able to use this $500 to generate as many sales as possible in the next two weeks? Or if I'm willing to use that money for some education, some books, something, because I can't, I can't spend that willy nilly. There's so many products that offer you leads. I'm trying to either generate leads or buy advertisement. Now, there's so many ways to do this. And there's so many things not to do. And there's so many people offering the wrong things that it's, you have to research it pretty well. I have a guy that reached out to me and said he was doing well, like Facebook, Facebook leads, callback leads. So that's, that's an option, but then I saw a video of a guy, pretty like, uh, pretty successful in the industry that have, has tried a bunch of leads. And he said those type of callback leads through Facebook is good. So it depends on how the guy is doing advertising. So I want to talk to him more before settling and, you know, giving them money and all that. So that's very important. Very important. You have to settle all that. But yeah. Pretty tough pickle, because you always have to pay the ignorance tax. You have to pay it. You have to pay it with consistency, and you have to pay it with money or time. So I am still pretty, pretty ignorant. And I know some skills that I have to develop right now, which is just talking in person. My first ever sell was that it was just me talking. Um, to somebody mentioning casually, hey, I do this, do you know someone? I have this guy who's going to come in Saturday, like Saturday too, that might be able to uh, refer me some clients. He's a salesperson, so he already generates his clients. I may talk to him about what's his uh, lead method. We can do, we also talked about doing a little bit of a business partnership, so we'll see how it goes. He makes about 6 k a month doing aqua 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 installations i forgot like like water pressure installations for the houses so he makes 6k doing that consistently and yeah i i know that because we because with um with life life insurance i talked to him about getting insured so he's you know explaining because you need th that piece of information those pieces of information in order to get a proper quote see if this is too much for you this is too less would you need more? Would you need less? All that stuff. Mm. If you want to talk to him, hopefully this Saturday or next Saturday. He is very interested, so I have to keep on following up with him and contacting him. So yeah, I'm going to follow up on that. Contact him. And I think the best... And you know, I recently saw the FCC... No, no, no. The information, something like that. Basically, leads are going to be more expensive... Right now, quality leads or any leads in general, the customer information will be more secure, which is, I believe, is fucking awesome because I am a customer. I'm a person. I'm a client. My information is out there. I don't want that to be, you know, distribute, shared, resell to everyone. So that's very important. The only thing is that I still don't have like a consistent, consistent way of getting clients. I don't have that yet. And I was thinking of doing that online, and this would be a very difficult method to do online, to get, like, leads, online leads through that way. I think it's going to be harder unless I generate my own leads, do my own products, do my own campaigns, do my own marketing, my own everything, and repost it. I've been doing that on Facebook, Instagram, but I think I should stick to one single, singular platform, and then from there, expand to the next one. So I think I should stick to one. Really study, double down on it, go hard on it, invest money, invest time, education on it. How does this work? How does it not work? This and that and this and that. And then just go ham, ham, ham until I start getting consistent results, consistent clients. Cause that's what I really want. I really want to get this consistency. It's cool to have like one sale, for like out of the blue, awesome. But I want consistent, at least one month to one one a week and then one a day then a couple a day but at least one a day would be amazing 
at least one a day this will change my life completely. It will change the lives of the people around me completely. The lives of my family, my friends, everything. That's what I want to do. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I have 500 bucks. I don't have no knowledge, so I'm not going to spend it. I'm not going to waste it. I'm not going to go fast because I cannot, I cannot lose. I have people that rely on me. If it were up just me in my life that relied on me, then I'm not afraid to just spend. Okay, I'll try next month. But if I fail, my mother will die of starvation. <laughs> I will die of starvation. You know, my girlfriend won't die of starvation, which would be pretty sad. <laughs> And, you know, the future that I planned out, not even planned, that I hope to achieve, that I want to achieve, won't succeed. And it's not just me. If it's just me failing, then that's okay. But I, my risk tolerance is very, very low. It's medium, actually. But it's very low comparatively to how an entrepreneur should have their risk tolerance. Because it should be very disciplined, but very risky. And willing to take the chance. And willing to take the risk multiple times. But hell no. Like I am risky. I'm willing to give this money and then boom. See how it goes. But I'm not stupid enough to just think that. Oh there must be somebody that thought the same way. Bought the same leads and lost the same amount. There must be something. I'm not I'm not saying. Because this is too good to be true. Buy, call, close. Too good to be true. There must be something more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see that I'm gonna contact uh, more more lead sources, research a little bit more, decide on what platform. I'm either gonna do Facebook or Instagram, but I think Instagram will be best because I've been trying on Facebook, but it's been very difficult, very difficult. Um, I have reached out to some business people that have been um, have been how do I say interested. But, uh, I don't know. Not many clients. And it's been, it's been a couple of days. I've been posting at least twice a day for, for a little bit over two weeks. Nothing so far. So it takes time. It takes time. It takes months. But it is very tiring. <laughs> and I think the most, the best thing I can do is just talk in person. And I want a car to do that. I'm, I don't have a car, so I can't really. I've been talking to people around me in situations around me when I had to do an errand and somebody who not lend me their car, but, you know, told me, hey, tag along. I'm going to be there in that area so you can do that while I do this. Now. Okay. And when I was doing that, I was talking to people, hey, you know, I do, I do car insurance as well. You know, I do car insurance. Do you know anybody who does car insurance? If, if you do, well, give me a call. And then this and then that. And yeah, I got my first client through it. And I haven't even really talked to that many people. Honestly, I've been talked to in the past couple of days, three people, and I got one client, one one sale out of that, because I'm open and honest, or just because I got I got really lucky, and that's that. I guess I need to generate activity. There's a lot of people in my office that want that's that tell me, hey, you want to generate activity? Just call me and this and that. But I hate being a bother. I really hate being a bother. I hate not having a car and able to do this myself. I hate that. I really do. I hate being dependent on other people. And I hate that that my mindset of, oh, I just need a car to be successful is still in place because I know you do not need a car to be successful. You can talk to people on the street. You can talk to people that are walking by at work. And I have done that. I've recently done that. The other day, yesterday, I did that. Today I wanted to do that, but then I got caught up in other things. And probably because subconsciously I chickened out because I'm like, oh, this is too good to be true. I shouldn't do this. You know, self-sabotage. When it starts working, you start doing it less. Because you're afraid. Because you're afraid that it will stop working all of a sudden and you're and it was all luck. You just want to keep it in the back of your mind that you're just you're just uh, not doing what you should do, and you, you would be totally a millionaire if you did what you do. 
and you're afraid to see the actual numbers and see that, hey, that was just luck. Minute. You got to work. You got to work. You got to talk to people. This is my pep talk. You got to talk to people. Talk to people. Let them know you have a business. Let them know that you can help. You are certified. You have studied this. I feel like out of out of 100 people, I am the most qualified to tell you about life insurance, about home homeowner protection, house rent, or home insurance. Home insurance, able to give you quotes on car insurance, able to protect your home with security cameras too, able to protect your ID, your identity through ID theft, able to provide you legal protection through prepaid legal, legal shield, able to protect you through business protection. I can protect your business too. I protect yourself through identity, legally, everything. Like it's, I'm in the insurance world. I can do so many things. But why am I not sure of myself? Why am I not putting myself out there as much as I should? I want to eliminate all excuses possible. I want to get a car just because for shits and giggles. <laughs> not because of that. To just Eliminate that, that, uh, that roadblock. Oh, I just, if I had a car, here you go. There you go. Yeah, fucking go. Go ahead. Go. go. And plus, uh, I'll want to get other jobs. So once I get a car, I do want to just, fuck it. I'll get other jobs. I'll have to, have to earn more money somehow. And I, I like, I like the job. I won't say I love the job. I like the job that I have. My part, my full time. But I'm not learning anything, and I'm not even earning that much. I know, like, you should work to learn, but I've already learned what I should. I'm not going to learn specific things that do not correlate to other things, do not correlate to my other projects in life. And it's like, nah. Tough. Life is tough. I'm not complaining about it anymore. That's good. I'm confronting it. I'm seeing how it is, the reality of it. I need to learn a lot more, a ton more. I stopped learning and I need to continue on learning. I need to like push really hard on the learning aspect and learning as I am working. And I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. I want to leave it to there for now. It continues. See you guys later.